All right, so this thing's a little bit wild, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this back to sort of the visible, and so red to red channel, blue light to blue to green green light to <laughs> green channel, and then blue portion electromagnetic spectrum, which is band one to the blue channel monitor. All right, fantastic. We got a linear stretch, looking beautiful. Okay, and so by doing those different uh, band combinations, that's telling us something about the relative, you know, reflectance values at each of those individual bands, right? Because again, each band is collecting data from a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we can see that when we do these different band combinations, right? And this is telling us that, oh, in this, in this pixel area right here, presumably, you know, more, more green light is being reflected than what we're seeing in terms of, uh, uh, blue light and, 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 and red light. Um, another way to see that is using this guy, which is the spectral profile. And we can get to that spectral profile guy um, by uh, clicking this sort of wavy line icon, or we can also go to um, display profile, spectral profiles. But I'm just going to click on this, this wavy guy. And, and so this is quite interesting. So down here we've got these individual, you know, bands of the multi-band image we've created, and there's six of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, but then we skipped the, because there was no six, and it jumps to seven, but this layer stack doesn't know that, so it just got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six layers, and it's made up of the data from channels one, two, three, four, five, and then seven, all right? But there's these really interesting sort of patterns associated with these different guys. And if I click in different locations, right, this thing is going to, to change. Now, these are not data that's been converted and atmospherically corrected, right? These are just sort of raw data values, okay? So we're, we're seeing some sort of different behavior than what we would see if we did atmospherically correct this, this data. But this spectral profile is very helpful because it allows us to kind of see the relative amount of information coming in uh, in different places. And we can see that there's different peaks, right? So where I'm clicking right here, the data value, this is like a peak of just less than 50 over here. Oh, and this one in band five is where it peaks, right? And this is like 114 or something. And if I click over here, right? Oh, this is where band three is the highest, right? And so these different land cover types have different spectral profiles, right? And so this is this, this spectral profile tool, which again we get from right here, is very helpful for allowing us to sort of play around with that and then better understand, you know, what's going on in terms of the, at least the, 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 the at a raw level, the, the brightness values for these different, different bands.